So we continue with our paper. Today we're going to do uh, this one's a question on vectors. Okay, interesting question. Um, this is scalar multiplication. Okay, of vectors. So you're you're given this much and this much. These are two vectors. This one is called column form. Okay, of vectors. Column notation. So here you're told to write three p minus q as a column vector. Okay. So you actually do three p minus minus q equal to. So you get three. Then you have p here. The p is what? three, four, and then minus, minus Q, minus, so it's minus four, then three here, okay. So uh, you can do scalar multiplication first using BOMDAS or PEMDAS or BODMAS, whatever, you will still get the same answer, okay. So you get uh, this one corresponding, uh, this one should be nine, this one should be 12. Okay, so you have simplified uh, the, the scalar multiplication first. Then here you get uh, negative four, three. If you want, you can even go at it directly and uh, say nine minus minus four, which is nine plus four, which is equal to 13, okay? Or you can say, uh, we, we, this, on this one, you can say 12 minus minus three, which is equal to what? Which is equal to nine. If you want, you can even uh, write this nine minus minus four is as a single, uh, you know, vector before actually writing this, it's still fine, okay? But then don't expect to get more marks. Usually there's questions, maybe there'll be just one mark or two marks. So the one mark is for, uh, you know, doing the scalar multiplication. And the second mark is obviously for the answer, okay? So not too much hassle there. Uh, just do what you can. And on the on the B part, we now, we're now told. So let me actually delete everything so that we can use this this part, uh, this space here. If you didn't catch it, uh, the question that we just did, you can go previously and then just uh, check it out, okay? So here what we have is um, I, it's a point, this point, or it's this point, okay? So the vector O, I can be written in this form here, where N is uh, in is an integer, okay? So O, R, so you can actually write O, R here, so this vector, it's equal to what? To P plus N, Q, okay? So O, R, O, R, it's equal to, so it would be equal to, uh, the the position of of uh, uh, r so the position of r this one would be so r is actually a position vector here but then what you do is take this one and then you say minus this one as well okay but then if you just know directly that uh, since uh, r is this point and then uh, the origin is defined as this then they're just telling you that this one is or r anyway this zero zero isn't gonna make any difference okay so it's equal to three, this one is four, plus n, then minus four, three, like this. Okay, so this this one is good. And uh, here you get uh, 11, negative two, which is good. Then here, you're supposed to uh, expand out, so you get three, four here, then ex expand, expand in, I mean. So here you get negative four n, here you get three n, which is good again, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to equate the, the x ordinate. So you can even say uh, by, so you can say by equating the x ordinates, you get 11 equal to three minus minus four n, okay? So like this. Then here, this one, you can push it there if you want, but uh, you can even uh, leave it there, it's still fine. So this one should be three minus minus 11 here. So four n equal to, this one should be 11, negative, um, this one should be negative eight, and uh, n should be negative two, okay? After dividing both sides by, by, by four. So you'd actually get negative two here. Uh, it should also tally here, so we can, we can actually check. So let's say you're, you're done with your exam, and then you just want to check, did I do the right thing on that math? Okay, so what you do is uh, use the other one, the other ordinate, so the y ordinate. On your rough piece of paper, you can say negative two equal to four plus plus three n. Already you know that n equal to, equal to this. So uh, say negative two equal to, if uh, it reconciles, then you know that you're on the right track. So negative two here. Uh, so here you get negative two equal to four, then this one is minus six, okay? So negative two equal to four minus six, you actually get negative two, okay? 
So it means that we're we're on the right track. Okay, so this this one it's not part, part of the math, you're just verifying, but then this is what you're supposed to do for the math. Okay. So this was interesting. Let's see if we can uh, work out another one here. This one says um uh, s equal to cube root of t plus four. And then you're asked to find s when t is equal to one twenty-one. Okay. So this one it's a case of substitution. I always advise whenever you can just you know, it should be muscle memory to always use brackets whenever you're substituting again. Okay. Uh, the thing is here, the brackets were not really required, but then sometimes you will require brackets and then you're not used to. So I always advise, always put those brackets, it's still fine, okay, you can uh, remove them even uh, as I do right now. So 121 plus 4, it's simply 125. So cube root of 125 is equal to what? It's equal to 5. Cube root of um, 125 simply means what number do you need? If you repeat the multiplication for the number three times, it should give you whatever is inside here. So if you I say five by five, get 25, then 25 by five, you get what? Get 125, okay? So this is what you're getting. If you are confused anything here, uh, a general rule sometimes, especially whether with they don't, with they don't tell you, leave your answer in said form or something like that. A general rule is that the answers that you usually get in paper on, they're usually straight answers. Very simple, very clean. If you're getting an answer like 11 or 13, sometimes it's um, it's actually like a, a bad thing. Usually it's um, it means that you have made some mistakes somehow, especially in simultaneous equations, okay? So what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to proceed with the part B. Part B asks us to rearrange the formula to make T the subject, okay? So you have S equal to this one you can actually change it so that um, uh, or if you want you can leave it like this okay so you should be cube root of t plus plus four but if you leave it like this then you should know that in order to move cube root you're supposed to cube okay so you can cube both sides okay so if you didn't know what you do is you say s is equal to then you put brackets then you say t plus four here then instead of putting cube root, cube root uh, simply means to the power one over whatever year. Yeah, or we, this one is three, but nth root simply means one over the n. So you, if it's 21, then it means one over 21 here. If it's whatever is there, one over that number, okay? So you actually get this part. So if you want now to move this part, now you, you are clear that you actually need three there. So you can say the power three. Here, if you add on the power, that means that they multiply. So this one actually cancels. So if you understood this one better, it's still fine, but then it's limited, okay? So you'd get a, a to the power three equal to uh, t plus four, yeah. Since it's t plus four to the power one, okay? So you can actually say t equal to, then s to the power three, then this one goes there, so it becomes negative four like this. So you get t equal to s to the power three minus four. And then you're done, okay? So this one was, um, was uh, easy. If you didn't understand it, you should go back again and then, you know, here, this one was the tricky part. To remove cube root, what do you do? We cube. And sometimes it uh, it makes sense to use this uh, notation here to say to the power of something. So nth root of something means that number to the power 1 over n. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, finish up. Yeah, so this one is going to be a long one. It says show that this can be simplified to give this. You shouldn't uh, get these questions wrong because they're actually giving you the answer. You just have to arrive at it. So here you have 12 over x plus 2, then plus, I'll tell you why I'm actually biting these gaps here. So 10 over x minus 1, I'm going to put another gap equal to 7 over 2, okay? So here I'm supposed to multiply by the what's called the lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple, you can think of it as the uh, common denominator here. So the common denominator for the numbers, it's simply two. For these ones, they cannot be factorized, so it's simply those ones. So you're actually having this much, okay? So we're actually going to do for the same for this one. So you just have to identify the, the lowest common multiple, and uh, when you identify the lowest common multiple, then you multiply by by the lowest common multiple. Sometimes um, the some of the entries here on the geometer they'll be factorizable. So you, you can factorize to expose the, the factors and then you can proceed afterwards, okay? So this one actually cancels. So this one actually cancels. 
this one actually cancels okay so now we are we are having this one you can actually just crunch it so it should be 24 24 x minus 1 here okay so plus here it should be uh here it should be 20 20 x plus 2 okay so here you are uh, equal to 7 if you want you can even expand here so if you're expanding here this one it's a uh, the coefficient of x is 1 coefficient of x is 1 so you're looking at x squared here then minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 you get positive x like this then minus 1 times minus 2 you get negative 2 okay so if, if you don't know how to do this uh, by inspection what you can do is uh, simply expand so say 7 then you say uh, big bracket when you say x x plus 2 then minus 1 x plus 2 so i actually took the, the bracket here i broke it up to make the the multipliers here okay so that's what i did so you get equal to 7 and you get x squared here then you get here you get 2x on the spot here you get minus x so 2x minus x obviously you get x okay so uh here you get uh minus minus 2 so this is where minus 2 is coming from this is where you where you get from uh where you get this okay so you can actually use inspection, especially if you've worked out uh, like so many of these problems, then you would know that this is a shortcut, okay? So uh, here you expand, so you get 24x minus 24, then plus uh, this one, you get 20x, then plus uh, 40, uh, then equal to, uh, be careful, uh, 7x squared, then plus 7x. Remember, 7 is multiplying everything here, minus 14, which is great. So here you, you are going to transfer everything to the side, so you can say zero equal to uh, this one is seven x squared. Okay, so on the on the uh, x part here you can say plus seven uh, x. Then here minus twenty x. Uh, then minus twenty four x like this. Okay, so minus fourteen here on this part. Then minus forty minus plus twenty four. Okay, so since this one is coming to this side, that side it will become become positive so you get x 7x squared then 7 minus 20 you get uh, uh, 7 minus 20 you get minus minus 13 then minus 13 minus 24 you get minus 37 okay so minus 13 minus 24 you get minus 37 here okay so we get minus 37x then here minus 14 uh, minus we can say minus 14 plus uh, 24 we actually get uh, 10 here so uh, minus 40 plus 10 then you get minus 30 okay so you can now see shown okay so uh, let's proceed uh, to the next part next part what does it say so yeah it says solve by factorization so you have to factorize and um, so you have uh, 7 minus uh, 37x minus 70 here. So you have to factorize. So you actually have to look for terms, which when you add them, you actually get negative. Uh, so you're looking for the sum, it's equal to negative 37. And then the product, it's equal to 7 times minus 30 here. Okay, so I uh, can just say 7 times 30. So the way that I advise, sometimes the uh uh factors they're very clear so here you might be tempted to think it's seven and minus thirty but then no that was the trick it's not okay so because seven minus thirty you actually get negative twenty three not this one so the way that uh, I always advise my students to do it if you watch the, the video on um uh factorization you have to uh for, on finding factors you have to say seven times thirty ignore the the signs for now okay then you can divide this one by 2, so you get 15 here. You can multiply this one by 2. You get what? You get 14. So whatever I'm dividing by on one side, I'm actually multiplying by the same factor on the other side. So you test again. Can I use this and this to get negative 37? Obviously, I can't. Okay. So you have to change again. So this one, let's uh, divide this one by, by 3 this time. Okay. So we actually get 5. We have divided the, 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 this one by, by 3. So we're going to multiply this one by 3. So uh, 14 by 3, get uh, 42. So this one and this one, I can use them. Yes, I can use them to get negative uh, uh, 37. How? Negative 42 plus 
plus 5. Okay, that's how I get negative 37. So I go back here and I get this one, then I get minus 42 x then plus 5. What I'm doing is that I was finding some stuff to to replace this one so that it's factorizable. So here negative 37 it's actually equal to negative 42 plus 5. Okay so negative 37 x is actually equal to negative 42 x plus 5 x. Okay so minus 30 here equal to 0. Then you can factorize for uh, as a pair. So here it'd be 7 x then you get x minus uh, this one should be uh, uh, 6. Okay so here uh, it should be 5 then you get x minus minus 6 okay equal to 0 then here it should be 7x plus 5 then x minus minus 6 like this equal to 0 then uh, uh, here you can say 7x plus 5 equal to 0 or x minus 6 equal to 0 like this okay so you can get 7x equal to negative 5 or x equal to 6 okay so x equal to negative 5 over 7 or 6 like this done okay so that's it for uh this whole paper we just uh, finished all of it and uh yeah so thanks so much for watching again make sure you like share and subscribe this has been yuba um i'll catch you in the next video cheers bye